Anybody else? What is the receptor? The other thing, G protein couple receptor, the pono is it? Hey, the Hello? So let's begin. So, type of receptors G protein couple receptor, which has been taught the previous day, ion channels, enzyme re receptors. Receptor regulating gene expression. Uh, any example of ion channels? Any? Huh? Yes, sodium? No. What do you say? Sodium potassium ATPase. So it's an enzyme. Yes, ion channel? Ion channel, anyone? Calcium ion channel, finish me, chloride ion channel, the knowledge of physiology, enzyme leak receptors, any example, a jackstat pathway synergies, from your knowledge of biochemistry, kira san synergies. Receptor regulating gene expression. Any example from your knowledge of biochemistry? Huh? No. Uh, somewhat right, but not uh, classical example. Anything? Uh, so, what does the thyroid hormone act? I mean, where are the receptors of thyroid hormone? Here in the nucleus. Okay. So they regulate gene expression. Thyroid hormone, the steroids, they all regulate gene expression. So, so ion channel receptors, important of them is GABA A receptors. Have you heard of this receptor? Huh? Ah, what is GABA? What is GABA? Full form of GABA. Yes, the Namgi. Huh? Sari Sarjan. What he has told is absolutely correct. GABA amino butyric acid. Now, for pharmacological purpose, you will come across this GABA A receptor multiple times. Then, calcium channel receptor, another important uh, receptor in pharmacology. Then, NM receptor. NM receptors means neuromuscular receptor. Agonist. Ah, acetylcholine. What the Mallow has told is absolutely right. So, GABA A receptor consists of five subunits. A numerous substrates bite to this GABA A receptor. GABA A receptor is so GABA A receptor is uh, a chloride channel. Basically, GABA receptor consists of a chloride channel. So, when it opens, it leads to influx of chloride channel in the neural system, uh, nerve. That leads to hyperpolarization. It is an inhibitory receptor. As Shyam has told, it is an inhibitory receptor. So, what are the substances that binding binds to the GABA receptor? First, GABA, then barbiturates, then benzodiazepine, then propofol, then volatile anesthetics, alcohol. All acts via the GABA A receptor. Sorry, GABA A ion channels which consist of receptor for all these drugs. So, 
it has different binding sites because there is a binding site that GABA to which an antagonist binds bicuculin all right so then there is another binding site for the benzodiazepines benzodiazepine binding site has a antagonist site for binding of an antagonist what is an agonist and what is an antagonist a ball Uh, somewhat right for a one day class anyone else ok we will come to it. So, agonist is a substrate that binds to a receptor and produces intrinsic activity all receptors have some intrinsic activity. So, there is affinity and there is intrinsic acti activity every site of a receptor is specific for a particular ligand where only that ligand can bind. So, benzodiazepine has an uh, binding site, uh, benzodiazepine binds in this site where there is an antagonist named fumazeline. Benzodiazepine used in any idea? Huh? Uh, CDT is had hypnotics. Mane? Gumparani osu. So, benzodiazepines has an antagonist named fumazeline. Then, there is a barbiturate binding site. Barbiturates, the name is? Pundon. So, barbiturate, 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 anyone? It's so also a sedative hypnotic, but no longer used as sedative hypnotic, more of an anesthetic agent. It also binds to picrotoxin. So, you will come across this GABA, GABA A receptor in many of the drugs, henceforth discuss uh, the same thing a little different picture Achha, I will come to this slide later then there is the NM receptors NM receptor is found in pneumomuscular junction at the postsynaptic region so, what is the receptor ke block for the key of it? Muscle? Paralysis. So, what is the Sopnojit. Uh, Sopnojit has. Sopnonil. So, Sopnonil has correctly said, somewhat correctly said, that there will be muscle paralysis. So, what is the use of the receptor blocker? What is the use of the Myasthenia, na. Tetanus, ha. This is the word. Ar. Ha. Muscle spasm, na. Tetanus. Okay, sir. And in anesthesia. Okay. If there is a surgery and you need to relax, you need need to relax the patient muscle. In that case, you will use the Antagonist. Agonist as the Shayan Nath and Namboli. Dev Mallo. Dev Mallo has rightly tell that agonist is acetylcholine. So there are two binding sites of acetylcholine. When both binding sites are occupied, the channels open, leading to entry of iron, sodium ion. So, calcium channel, calcium channel, where is calcium channel uh, the most important? Type of calcium channel? Huh? 
হ্যাঁ নিউরোমাসকুলার জাংশনে আছে আর হ্যাঁ বল মাসালা আছে ঠিক আছে আর অ্যান্ড নার্ভ টিস্যুতে আছে মাসালা আছে ঠিক আছে সো নার্ভ টিস্যু অ্যান্ড মাসাল আর ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর ফার্মাকোলজিক্যাল পারপাসেস ঠিক আছে সো মাসাল ইন কার্ডিয়াক সেলস দ্যাট ইজ মায়োসাইট দেয়ার ইজ দিস ক্যালসিয়াম চ্যানেল ক্যালসিয়াম চ্যানেল have properties of excess of calcium leads to huh? tetanus so increase force of contraction ঠিক আছে আই সান রেজিস শুনতে পাচ্ছিস so excessive calcium lead to excess force of contraction known as positive ionotropy তাই তো increase কন্ডাকশন অফ ইম্পালসেস ঠিক আছে অ্যান্ড ইনক্রিজ হার্ট রেট ইনক্রিজ জেনারেশন অফ ইম্পালস ফ্রম এস এন ওল সো ইফ ইউ ক্যান মডিউলেট দিস ক্যালসিয়াম চ্যানেল দ্যাট উইল এফেক্ট সো মেনি প্রপার্টি অফ হার্ট calcium channel blocker is an important topic in cardiology that will be discussed during study of cardiology so agonist acetylcholine depolarizing blocker succinylcholine succinylcholine is very similar to the structure of acetylcholine ঠিক আছে it's a non competitive inhibitor and non depolarizing blocker curare these are all used for muscle relaxation for giving anesthesia bully enzyme link receptors intrinsic enzyme link receptors jack strap kind kinase binding receptor so enzyme link receptors are typically associated with growth hormones and insulins theek hai ji so these leads to phosphorylation and dephosphorylation and leads to activation or deactivation of various enzymes that produces some effect increasing activity within the cell receptor regulating gene expression first and foremost glucocorticoids then estrogen progesterone then the thyroid hormones theek hai ji vitamin a vitamin d all these enzyme uh, all these receptor uh, have yeah, are located within the nucleus they lead to change in expression of several genes genetic product uh, product transmission of bero that leads to several uh, modification of physiology theek hai ji so we come to receptor agonist and antagonist so what is receptor agonist substance acting on receptor having affinity and intrinsic activity so what will be an antagonist having only affinity but no intrinsic activity chan which is so what do you mean by affinity so this ligand binds with the receptor to form a complex and intrinsic activity is the pharmacological result that it produces pharmacological or physiological result that it produces ঠিক আছে so type of receptor agonist complete agonist partial agonist inverse agonist so what do you mean by complete agonist when the agonist bind to the receptor it produces the maximum effect theek hai je partial ki hobe 
सब मैक्सिमल इफेक्ट हो गए अच्छा देन देयर इज द क्यूरियस केस ऑफ इनवर्स एगोनिस्ट सो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इनवर्स एगोनिस्ट सो इनवर्स एगोनिस्ट मींस जहां काज हो चिलो तार उल्टो काज हो गए so how is it possible that uh, that something binds to a receptor and produces the opposite of the what it was what a agonist is producing ঠিক আছে একটা কাজ হচ্ছিল সেটাকে ব্লক করে দেওয়া হলো এটা তো বোঝা গেল এবারে উল্টো দিয়ে কাজ কি করে হচ্ছে now it is proposed that my proposed almost proved ठीक है दिस रिसेप्टर हैज सम इंट्रिंसिक एक्टिविटी दैट मींस इवन व्हेन देयर इज नो लाइगेंड बाइंड टू दिस रिसेप्टर दिस रिसेप्टर कंटीन्यूज टू प्रोड्यूस सम एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज नाम की कौशली इट कंटीन्यूज टू प्रोड्यूस सम इंट्रिंसिक एक्टिविटी ठीक है जे सो व्हेन समथिंग सो व्हेन दिस इनवर्स एगोनिस्ट बाइंड so when this inverse agon is uh, binds to the receptor it produces it, produ it stops that intrinsic activity so like kira ka ulto kaaj korche bujhli to naam ki ha subronil tu bujhli so this is a dose response curve ঠিক আছে তাহলে কি দেখছি ফুল অ্যাগোনিস্টে 100% রেসপন্স পার্শিয়াল অ্যাগোনিস্টে সাম রেসপন্স ঠিক আছে সাব ম্যাক্সিমাল রেসপন্স আর ইনভার্স অ্যাগোনিস্টে देयर इज অপোজিট রেসপন্স now we come to the next topic of discussion that is potency and efficacy so potency is the amount of drug needed to produce a particular response and efficacy is the maximum response that can be produced by a drug clear yes, so there are four drug a b c d so what is their potency what is their efficacy efficacy same ঠিক আছে সবাই সবার ম্যাক্সিমাম রেসপন্সটা सेम ঠিক আছে আর अबाउट পটেন্সি এর ম্যাক্সিমাম ঠিক আছে কারণ অনেক কম ড্রাগে অনেক বেশি কাজ করছে ए जो कौन मैक्सिमम तो कौन डी सबे काज करा शुरू करे चे ठीक है जे सो ए एस द मैक्सिमम पोटेंसी ऑन एक कम ड्रग है ऑन एक बेशी काज कुछ चे सो यार अनदर ए बी सी डी सो व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ potency and efficacy between a and b ball sir and ball ha huh? efficacy is easy a and b ball efficacy same air potency beshi thik ache a r b r efficacy same but air potency ta onek beshi relationship between a and d ki kom karon puro puro a er moto a er, a er je effect ta dicche seta dicche na but d acts at a much lower concentration so another chart anyone like to explain to naam ki ha rajunna anyone else like to do an explanation एनीवन असाइन बोल दे हां 
रोज एक डाल भात खेते डाउनुलेशन कौन लाइक एंड प्रचुर आज ठीक है सो दैट इज आप एंड डाउन रेगुलेशन अफ रिसेप्टर जो बस लाइक एंड थे तउन रेगुलेशन तिसेंसिटाइजेशन और जो कम थे आप रेगुलेशन और सुपार सेंसिटिविटी अब द रिसेप्टर्स रिसेप्टर्स बिकम मोर एंड मोर सेंसिटिव टू द लाइक एंड सो लेट्स गेट्स एन गेट एन एग्जांपल सो ए पर्सन हैविंग अ कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर फॉर हिज हाइपरटेंशन सो व्हाट विल हैपन टू द रिसेप्टर्स रिसेप्टर विल बी हां ना आप रेगुलेशन आ गए रिसेप्टर आ जाए कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉक आ गई है रिसेप्टर गुलो पे ब्लॉक कर दी चुके ठीक है जो रिसेप्टर विल मूव अपवर्ड एंड विल बिकम हाईली सेंसिटाइज ठीक है जो सो व्हाट विल हैपन इफ अ पर्स इफ दैट पर्सन ड्रॉप्स दैट मेडिकेशन सुपर सेंसिटिव हो जाए रिसेप्टर कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ जाए तो लेकि� Hypertension, tension, जितना control है चीज़ों, that will flare up. Which is next? We come to the safety of the drug. There is something known as therapeutic range or therapeutic window. All drugs act within a पार्टिकुलर कंसेंट्रेशन रेंज, ठीक है जे? तार बेशी होले, क्या हुए? टॉक्सिसिटी, ठीक है जे? और कॉम होले क्या हुए? रेस्पोंस होते हैं ना, ठीक है जे? इनअप्रोप्रिएट फार्माकोलॉजिकल रेस्पोंस, सो इट हैज टू बी विद इन अ पार्टिकुलर therapeutic range so this is a concentration time graph so this is minimum effective concentration so the drug mass the concentration of drug mass cross the minimum effective concentration and care must be taken that the drug does not overshoot the मैक्सिमम मिनिमम टॉक्सिक कंसेंट्रेशन ठीक है जे सो दिस इज द थेरेपियोटिक रेंज और थेरेपियोटिक विंडो सो लेट अस सपोज दैट दिस थेरेपियोटिक रेंज और थेरेपियोटिक विंडो इज वाइड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज कोत्त होबे ना ठीक है जे यदि कम हो कोत्त होबे ठीक है जे इफ दिस थेरेपियोटिक रेंज इज स्मॉल देन यू नीड टू मॉनिटर द पेशेंट रेगुलरली ठीक है जे तार पैरामीटर आछे 
তো থেরাপিউটিক ড্রাগ মনিটরিং বলে যে থেরাপিউটিক ড্রাগ মনিটরিং ইজ অ্যানাদার টপিক ঠিক আছে সো ইউ ইউ নিড টু মনিটর দা পেশেন্ট রেগুলারলি দ্য ড্রাগ অ্যান্ড ইটস প্যারামিটার্স সাপোজ এ পেশেন্ট ইজ হ্যাভিং ওয়ারফেরিন ওয়ারফেরিন ইজ ইউজড ফর অ্যান্টি কোয়াগুলেন্ট ঠিক আছে ইট হ্যাজ আ ভেরি লো থেরাপিউটিক রেঞ্জ তাহলে কি করতে হবে রেগুলার বেসিসে মনিটরিং করতে হবে যে এটা ওভারশুট হচ্ছে কি না ওভারশুট যদি হয় ব্লিডিং হয়ে মরে যাবে ঠিক আছে সো অ্যাডভান্টেজ অফ হ্যাভিং ওয়াইড থেরাপিউটিক রেঞ্জ ইজ মনিটারিং না করলে চলবে ঠিক আছে ইউ ক্যান সেফলি গিভ সাচ ড্রাগস বাট ওয়েন দ্য থেরাপিউটিক রেঞ্জ অর থেরাপিউটিক উইন্ডো ইজ ন্যারো ইউ হ্যাভ টু বি কেয়ারফুল পেশেন্ট রিকোয়ার্স মনিটারিং now there is something known as therapeutic index therapeutic index is ld50 by ed50 for animals ha so what do you mean by ld50 ld50 is lethal dose 50 50 okay so what does it means it means that if 100 animals are given that dose 50% will 50 animal or 50% animal will die of it that is ld50 and ed50 means effective dose 50 so what will be it here 50% animal effect eff efficacy dekhabe ঠিক আছে ইউসো ফার্মাকোলজিক্যাল এফেক্ট সো দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট ইজ মিন বাই এল ডি ফিফটি আর ইডি ফিফটি আর থেরাপিউটিক ইন্ডেক্স দিস ইজ ফর অ্যানিমেলস এক্সপেরিমেন্টাল অ্যানিমেলস লাইক র্যাট ফর হিউম্যান ইট ইজ টক্সিক ডোজ ফিফটি ডিভাইডেড বাই ইডি ফিফটি টক্সিক ডোজ ফিফটি হোয়াট উইল বি the toxicity what will be the toxic how will we measure, measure the toxicity anyone ha seta upper limit ti bujhbi ki kore what what we what is the upper limit so toxicity depends on condition of patient suppose a patient is having diarrhea ঠিক আছে অ্যান্ড ইউ গিভ সার্টেন ড্রাগ দ্যাট কজ হেয়ার লস ন্যাড়া হয়ে গেল ইজ আ ড্রাগ টক্সিক ফর দ্যাট পেশেন্ট ইট ইজ টক্সিক চুল পড়ে যাচ্ছে ন্যাড়া হয়ে যাচ্ছে এটা ভালো জিনিস বাট ইফ ইউ সি ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ কাম অ্যাক্রস ক্যান্সার পেশেন্ট you will see that most of the people have loss of hair is it toxic no because situation changes according to the condition a cancer patient requiring treatment from a deadly disease for that hair loss is a acceptable toxicity hair loss hocche bomi hocche আরো অনেক কিছু হচ্ছে বাট ফর এসার কন্ডিশন লাইক ডায়রিয়া হেয়ারলেস ইজ নট অন অ্যাকসেপ্টেবল টক্সিসিটি ঠিক আছে ইট ডিপেন্ডস অন দ্য কন্ডিশন সো দিস ইজ দ্য লক ডোজ রেসপন্স কার্ড ঠিক আছে আগেরটা ছিল হচ্ছে কনসেন্ট্রেশন ভার্সেস টাইম কার এটা হচ্ছে ড্রাগ অ্যান্ড রেসপন্স না সরি দিস ইজ আ কন্ট্রাল ডোজ রেসপন্স কার্ড ড্রাগ ইন মাইক্রোগ্রাম ঠিক আছে তো এই যে লাল কার্ভ যেটা আছে দ্যাট ইজ দ্য বেনিফিশিয়াল এফেক্ট কার্ভ অফ দ্য 
beneficial effect and this blue curve that is the adverse effect. So calculate the therapeutic index. How will you calculate? 50 percent, think as a 0.1, 50 percent, 10. So LD50 will be LD50 will be 10 and ED50 will be huh? 0 0.1. So, uh, therapeutic index is 0.1. Okay. What? Axo, 100. 10y, 0.1. Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it So, this is the efficacy curve, toxicity curve. This is the therapeutic window. Okay, the therapeutic window is approaching the toxicity. Some bit of vomiting, maybe diarrhea, that may be acceptable. Okay, the therapeutic index is LD50 by ED50 for animal. For human, it is toxic dose. Okay, the lethal mirafala javana, human ke. Now we come to synergism. Synergism बोलते हैं, दूसरों drug combination होले की होगे. There may be a case that effect of A plus B becomes arithmetic summation of drug A and drug B. ठीक है जी. So let's see there be diclofenac. And paracetamol. Both are analgesic. Okay? When they are given together, there is additive effect. Then there is the super additive effect. That is effect of drug A and B, A plus B combination is more than individual drug. The antibiotic question is which is Any concept about antibiotics? So, what is a bactericidal and bacteriostatic drug? No, bacteriostatic one is multiplication of the bond. Okay, the Kundan, the Volaja is more or less okay. Okay, bactericidal one is killing of the bacteria. Static one is multiplication of the bacteria is stopped. Okay, now here is an example of a fixed dose combination. Fixed dose combination one is. Fixed dose combination, anyone? No. So, sulfa methoxazole and trimethoprene is used in 1 is to 5 combination, okay, known as now when this is a uh, folate pathway, okay, when sulfa methoxazole and trimethoprene are used individually. They act as bacteriostatic. So they only stop the multiplication. But when they are combined together, in case of cotrimoxazole, they become a bacterial sidal. That combination becomes bacteriocidal. That is the super additive effect. Individually static combination is cytal. Then we come to tolerance. 
टॉलरेंस मींस टॉलरेंस मींस सो द अमाउंट ऑफ ड्रग रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस अ पर्टिकुलर फार्माकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट हैज टू बी इंक्रीज आगे एक ग्राम में जेटा हो चिलो अकॉन से ही इफेक्ट टा अंते गले पांच ग्राम दी तो हो ची ठीक है जे तो बॉडी गेट टॉलरेटेड टू द ड्रग मोस्ट कॉमन एग्जांपल अल्कोहल ओपियोइड ठीक है जे वो तो वे जादी है शुरू करे अल्कोहलिक रा दिन 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 बाँटते था के अगर एक वो तो खेल हो तो goes on increasing because they fail to produce that addiction nisha hocche na so what causes tolerance metabolism thik ache so what is enzyme induction so pharmacokinetic sign hoye geche to so drug certain drug induce certain enzyme that leads to faster metabolism of certain drug it may be itself or some other drugs theek hai sir then cellular adaptive tolerance what happens if a ligand is more in supply down regulation ho jayega theek hai sir then tachyphylaxis tachyphylaxis means repeated uh, administration of a drug lead to rapid appearance of tolerance isme jis tarah ki phylaxis means so there is a drug name ephedrine theek hai ji that classically produces tachyphylaxis uh, ephedrine produces uh, increase in bp but if you administer repeated ephedrine the uh, response to that repeated injection gradually decreases theek hai so ephedrine has some other mechanism so it a je pora ephedrine pora na samay hobe theek hai cross tolerance cross tolerance means one drug can produce tolerance to some other drug happens in opioids now type of antagonism the antagonist key what is an antagonist receptor antagonist well the well हाँ, ठीक है जे रिसेप्टर एगोनिस्ट की मुझे रिसेप्टर एगोनिस्ट हैव एफिनिटी बट नो इंट्रिंसिक एक्टिविटी ठीक है जे नाउ वी कम टू दैट इज फॉर रिसेप्टर एगोनिस्ट नाउ वी कम टू टाइप्स ऑफ एगोनिस्ट आधार दें रिसेप्टर देर आर आधार टाइप्स ऑफ एगोनिस्ट डू रिमेम्बर दिस टाइप ऑफ एगोनिस्ट इट कम्स एज ठीक है जे फिजिकल केमिकल फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड रिसेप्टर एंटागोनिज्म कम टू फिजिकल एंटागोनिज्म एंटागोनिज्म बेस्ड ऑन फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी नाउ चारकोल हैज एन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एड्रॉप्शन ठीक है जे द सब्सटेंस गेट stick to the charcoal now charcoal is used for poisoning used in poisoning so if a if a person has ingested some um, noxious drug for suicide may be for suicidal purposes theek hai so we give charcoal orally suppose he has taken orally most common route of uh, ingestion is oral so we give 
charcoal orally. So what this charcoal does, it adsorbs the drug on its surface. So a drug that is water soluble is converted into water insoluble form and that charcoal along with the drug get excreted from the feces. So all poison and load ta common available. That is an example of physical antagonism. Then chemical antagonism. Chelating agent. Chelating agent ki? For your, from your class 12 chemistry knowledge. Ah, non covalent bond kore dewe. So, that, what is the solubility? Na, bhi dewe. For this purpose. EDTA in lead poisoning. So, there is repeated ingestion of lead. Lead is deposited in various part of the body. So, this, what this EDTA does? It converts that insoluble lead into a soluble form and that is eliminated via urine. Because KMNO4, KMNO4 is a very strong oxidizing agent. It can oxidize almost anything. For alkaloid poisoning, KMNO4 is used to produce the active oxygen species that destroys the poison. Tannin in alkaloid poisoning, these two forms bonds, some kind of covalent or bonds that leads to excision of poison. Then we come to the physiological antagonism. Insulin and glucagon. What does insulin do? Blood glucose decrease the insulin reduces the blood glucose level and glucagon increases the blood glucose level. So these are they are not acting on the same receptor but their action are physiological action are completely different. One is increasing the glucose level another is decreasing the glucose level. Histamine, histamine produces Histamine ki kare? Huh? Allergy. Histamine is causes allergy. What is anaphylactic shock? Hey, anaphylactic shock ki? Maikata porno is a do. You heard of the term anaphylactic shock? That is mediated by histamine. What does histamine does? It causes bronchoconstriction. So, for our purpose, bronchoconstriction. For the basic, if you are not familiar with anaphylactic shock, bronchoconstriction. And vesela ki kore? Phasodilatation. Fall in BP. We give adrenaline. Antidote to anaphylactic shock is adrenaline. TSA. Adrenaline ki korve? Vasoconstriction korve? Leading to normalization of BP and bronchodilatation. TSA. Some drug interaction. Uh, this is more of a pharmacokinetic part. Iopenton and succinylcholine. Succinylcholine is succinylcholine. Hey, what bola? Hi, NM9 receptor inhibitor. So these two are never mixed in the same bottle. This leads to precipitation of drug. Tetracycline, tetracycline, kitchen idea hai What is tetracycline? Antibiotics. 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 
So this tetracycline when consumed with milk, milk contains lot of calcium. So that hampers absorption of tetracycline. So more of a fine pharmacokinetic thing. So receptor antagonist. There is competitive antagonism. Mane? The antagonist and the substrate, they compete for the same site. Then there is non-competitive antagonism. Then there is non-equilibrium antagonism. So let us uh, do some recap. Type of antagonism? Multiple. A receptor will be now. Receptor to all. Ever a example there. Charcoal. Charcoal and poison. Alcohol and poison. Tigaje, chemical and EDTA. Late poison. Na histamine is the key. Histamine and adrenaline in anaphylactic shock. Are yeah, are acta will see insulin and glucose. So please learn this uh, enzyme and uh, sorry, this type of antagonism. This will come in your theory exam as well as in your practical exam. So this is a binding site. Agonist and antagonist are binding for the same site. And this is non competitive There is some allosteric site for which in which the substance bind and another there is non-equilibrating antagonist. Now what do you mean by non-equilibrating antagonist? Now this agonist and this antagonist is binding at the same side. They are held together by some force, maybe Van der Waal force or some other force, loosely binds to the binding side. Now what happens in sorry, what happens in non-equilibrating antagonist? The non-equilibrating antagonist goes and forms the covalent bond at the binding side. Yes, it? Equilibrium is key. By law of mass action. Yes, it? But non-equilibrating they will form a Covalent bond, strong covalent bond. Yes, but if competitive antagonism is if competitive antagonists are more, what will happen? Concentration of antagonists are more, what will happen? Block hoy jabe. If agonist is increased, concentration is increased, what is the receptor? Law of mass action. Where concentration is increased, the receptor is increased. This is competitive antagonism. This is competitive antagonism. This is a quantal dose response curve. Concentration versus response. So this is agonist alone. And when there is a competitive antagonist, there is, you can see the potency of what will happen to the potency. On a basic drug like this, potency decrease. So here it is, effective concentration 50 is here, 
starts to move out here. Now, what is the problem of uh, quantal dose response curve? Quantal dose response curve you can see at the initial phase a slight increase in drug concentration. The curve moves very rapidly. To solve the problem, we take it in log dose response. Okay, so, this is agonist alone and this is agonist in presence of a competitive inhibitor. So, irreversible antagonist. This is sorry, so this is a non competitive antagonist. This is agonist alone, this is agonist plus antagonist. Okay, so this is a parallel shift for competitive antagonist. This is a downward shift. So know these two curves very well. These two curves are given in your practical examination. We have to identify which is a competitive and which is a non-competitive antagonist. The competitive antagonist is the SCF curve, so log dose response curve, parallel shift and non-competitive is downwards. This is a picture from your KDT party. This is agonist alone, there is some concentration of antagonist, the antagonist concentration is increased 10 times, yes, parallel shift coach. and then this is a concentration time uh, log dose response curve of a non-competitive antagonist, yes, it is a key thing move coach. Agonist alone, agonist plus some concentration of antagonist. Antagonist is in these 10 times. Niche diga move kotse. So know these two graphs very well, which is what? It comes as an identification. Practical assay. So do know these two curves very well. Later is it? Competitive, as of Asta was cano, and it is a non competitive. Tia is a no clear thake. It is a competitive. It is a non competitive. Tia is a now some non receptor mediated drug action. The glottos of receptor mediated drug action will. So, non receptor mediated antacid jagula use kora hai, ino. Tiga je? Mande ki thake? Sodium bicarbonate thake. Acidity hole? Deva hai? Simply acid based neutralization hai. Stomach at je acid gula hache? Segulo ke neutralize kore. Alkalization and acidification of urine. These are used in poisoning. Kota alkalization korbe, kota acidification korbe, pharmacokinetics hoi gase? Aja, bhalo bhabe porbi, thik aje? Kon drug, acidic drug hole ki korbe, acidic na alkalization na acidification korbe, alkaline drug hole ki korbe, thik aje? Kon drug e? Ek ki, amade target ki, urine excretion, thik aje? Excretion konta hai beshi hoi Ionization jato hoi thakwe, toto excretion beshi hoi. Our target is to produce ionization. Tia je? Bhala hoi poorbi kunta acidification kore, kunta alkalization kore. Anti-metabolite alkali, uh, alkylating agent is an anti-cancer drug. Chelating agent, ehi matto bollam. Tia je? EDTA lead. So, we come to this slide. 
which we have skipped earlier. Ah, this slide. Okay. Often example are asked for agonist and antagonist. Okay. So this is a slide containing agonist and antagonist of GABA A receptor. So know the if you know if you study GABA A receptor, this uh, this example you will get example of agonist and antagonist. Okay. More of antagonist are asked, example of antagonism are asked, example of competitive and non-competitive antagonist. Okay. So, the GABA receptor is GABA agonist. Maskimol is another agonist at GABA binding site. Then, benzodiazepine binding receptor. Okay. Sorry, another there is Bicuculin, which is another GABA binding site competitive antagonist. Okay. Benzodiazepine binding site. Benzodiazepine, allosteric agonist. Okay, J site a GABA bind coach, second again to benzodiazepine bind coach. J can a GABA bind coach, second again to bind coach. Okay, it is an allosteric binding site. Then beta carboly, allosteric. Inverse agonist. Okay, example of inverse agonist. Then Kumazeli. What is it? Competitive antagonist at benzodiazepine binding site. Then Zalipton uh, Zolpidan, which is benzodiazepine receptor agonist. Okay, then barbiturate binding site. There is barbiturate, barbiturate also does not bind to where the GABA binds. It again that the other side again bind goes. Allosteric agonist, a picritoxin non competitive antagonist. So, know the type of antagonism, example of uh, receptor antagonism. If you study this one receptor, that is GABA receptor, you can have many examples. Bully. Now, what is this uh, advantage of having an antagonist? Poisoning hmm? as So, benzodiazepine are used. And on a key use kore for poisoning. Gumero shoot. Gumero shoot ke suicide kore chista kore. So when there is an antagonist at that site, humazeli, the key of a shagonist effect again, reverse kore dito kore. Here is it. 